Hello and welcome back to another session of Belkinus Necro Hunt. So you guys finish having a wonderful little lunch uh, given to you by Elioise. Um, and now after exiting her little cottage, you now have a choice of where you would like to go, which direction you would like to head. Mm. So I had an idea based on where we are, if you wouldn't mind hearing me out, everyone. Um, I, won't, I won't stop you. So I know our ultimate goal is to go to Cloveway, goal is to go to Cloveway, and Enoch mentioned wanting to stop in Chester City, that's right next to the border. So I imagine we're heading to Chester City. So go on. I wanted to ask if we could cross through the peaks and potentially check out what happened to my father's grave. I have reason to believe the spine was behind it and I haven't been able to make my way there yet to assess the damage. Might be clues. Might be able to find out what they're doing. Prepare ourselves for what's awaiting us in Cloveway. Is it? I agree with this. So there's two roads I know we can take. Uh, we, we can go, you know, through uh, go down the road through Peltry Town, or we can go through the jag to through the jagged peaks to Yedzel. Um, it's Yedzel. a little bit. It's a little bit off of the beaten path. His his grave's a bit outside the city. I know Correct that this might I... be a little detour, bit of a detour, but correct me if I'm wrong, but you are asking us to instead of going to a populated city and on a safe route. Instead, traverse the mountains that are filled with monsters, hence your profession, to a town that is off the beaten path during a timed mission. Uh, is that correct? I ask this because I think that we might be able to get clues along the way. I'm by no means saying that we have to go this way. It's just what I would ask if we don't really know our, our trajectory yet. Hmm. And the your father, he had... His death was involved with the necromancers, correct? He, his tomb was desecrated by the necromancers. That much ah, I'm, I'm sure is. of. He, he passed ten years ago. So. It was. The tomb was desecrated by the necromancers. That's what I believe. Um, I heard about it when I was in Chester City. Word got back to me. It was actually, it was actually a few days before the Viscount summoned us, so I haven't been able to go back. It was. Mm -hmm. Can you point out specifically where uh, the, the site is? I'm going to, uh, we have a map, yeah? So I'm yeah, just going to- Yeah, we're looking at the map yeah. right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. looking at the map. Uh, Yazdol is right here, so it would be outside the city. So it's, it, the grave site is at Yazdol? Yeah, it's, it's oh. around Yazdol, that's where I lived. I mean, to be quite honest, that might be a little bit out of the way, but... Yeah. It's totally fine if we don't want to. I, Again, this is something no, I can I... deal with on my own time. It just, it would be killing two birds with one stone, and I do think that we might find some evidence. I... I will admit, I like your plan a lot better than just going straight to Chester, quite honestly. To be quite honest, if... It gives us any possible advantage. Information is a great deal that we can use. And so. that also mitigates the target we might have put on our backs. Staying away from people while we're going through. It might just minimize casualty as well. But That's it also minima minimizes the chances we will get to have a proper rest. I think we should do it. And, Looks and over and like, huh? Comes, <laughs> huh? <laughs> And if worse comes to worse, we can always stay in, and if I am reading this right, Rugawood? Mm, yes. We will go from Ye Yostor. Mm -hmm. Yostor. Oh. And for the to record, there are safe passages through the mountains. And you can so. guarantee our safety through them? I mean, I'm one woman with two swords, and you are all perfectly capable of defending yourselves, but I can at least try and keep us on the main paths. Right, quite safe. I do believe we should do it then. I don't know about uh, being out of the way of other innocents, or even that this is a very proper path to go down. 
but I am intensely interested in why these necromancers have desecrated your father's grave, as I'm sure you are. I have my suspicions, but I'm not. Would you like to share them? My father was a war. My father was a war hero. There's a story about him. Well, it's a bit long to tell now, but there's a reason that my father was given the monument he was given, and there's a reason why mine his fighting in the war was notable to the Viscount. Uh, as you speak, I am going to pull out my journal and just start writing in it. We don't need to. Uh, if you are uncomfortable talking about your father, then we don't need to have the conversation right now. But I will expect to have it before we reach Ustal, or else I may not know something that could help us all. I'd be happy to tell it to you once we, I assume, break for rest tonight. It's just a story that's best told when you're sitting down. Fantastic. And I just keep writing. In that case, let's move. Are we sure we're all okay with this? Like I said, I don't want to, I don't want my personal goal to affect our path in any way. If you truly just want to get to Chester City and Cloveway, that's fine. Oh, certainly. It is going to take much more time than if we were just going to straight forward. Or if we were just straightforwardly going to Cloveway. But I do believe it's worth it. We need to know what we're up against. We walked into this last fight, and they didn't expect us, which is why we were able to get through it so easily. But I doubt that we're going to have that luxury a second time. So we need to gather as much information as we can. And we know where they have struck before. This is the correct choice. All right. All right. So, you guys head north. Is that your decision? Yeah. Yeah. If you guys are okay with it. (laughs) Sounds great. It sounds like everyone came to a consensus, so yeah. All right. You guys begin to head north. And as you start to trek through difficult terrain, we are going to do a skill challenge as <gasps> the, the jagged peaks oh, are barren mountains uh, with, as you say, lots of monsters. And for those uh-huh. who don't know what a skill challenge is, it is a basically a health bar that you need to defeat with your skill checks within a certain amount of successes or failures. In this case, if you succeed, you will make it to Yedzel uh, on traveling time, you know, on normal traveling time Hooray! without much delay. However, if you fail, all manner of possible things could delay you on the way. Ew. Can it be no tail again? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Just can distract us with his bag of many things. No tail or Grick Yak. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to see Grickyak again until we return to Belkinus proper and he has a beard to show that time has passed. <laughs> By the time we get back to Belkinus, Grickyak better be the like, king of a trade empire. <laughs> he said he was making smart investments. All right. So, yes, who wants to take the first stab at a at tackling the skill challenge? I'll try. Shelby does. Oh, okay. Cammy does. Cammy does. <laughs> I'll try. Okay. Thank you, Cammy. What's the skill check? Uh, okay, so how a skill challenge works is um, you basically go through your skills and describe how you, you would use them in context to completing the task, i.e. traversing these rough, barren mountains full of monsters and difficult terrain. Uh, An example that I would give is, say, a party is trying to escape a crumbling cavern. Perhaps a barbarian Mm -hmm. uses their athletics to shove aside boulders that are falling around them. Or perhaps the wizard is using their, um, I don't know, their history, uh, a history check to think about any geography that they have uh, read up on about tunnels in the kind of area that they're in. Things like that. I remember this. Okay. Okay. So you well, get to choose and, and try to give context to your skill. Okay. Um. Well, I'm actually um. I'm not as skilled in fighting. I'm not as skilled in in the few things. But what I am good at is listening out for stuff. In in, in the very least, 
have a sense of if you're hearing the birds and stuff in the trees then yeah you're probably in a safe enough spot if it's way too quiet then something has either just run through here or is here okay. and that means that there is trouble afoot so basically she's kind of walking down the like walking along a path um and just keeping an ear out okay <laughs> an ear that would probably be a perception of... check right yeah okay you can so. give me that Okay. Eight, twelve. <laughs> you travel along the way with that philosophy, hearing out for birds, but um, it's kind of hard to hear as you get further and further into the mountain, even when you, like, pace yourself around. You do make some progress. Oh, good. Okay. All right. But uh, trees are I... starting to get few and far between. That's fair. I, I would like to use any of my memory towards, like... How, like, my general understanding of the geography of the entirety of the Jagged Peaks, so that way we can move more carefully and have a much more easier path based off of what I know by a history. Yes, if that makes you may, sense. yeah, you may do a history, see what you might have read and what you can remember what you might have read. That's going to be a 14. You do remember a few old trade routes and old and possibly still working uh, roads and you try to guide the party along that path and you do s still see that a few of them are still in commission very worn down and in need of some uh, <laughs> some renovating but they do provide a nice path and you make a little bit more progress Hooray! okay right oh you go oh okay um so these paths are rough we are probably expecting things like fallen debris I would like to argue using my athletics to help keep the road clear <laughs> so we can keep moving at a fast pace. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Strong lady, here we go. Oh my god! All right. Oh no! Oh, strong lady, no! Uh, and this is my I, idea too. This is my fault. I will use my inspiration to give it to Luna. <laughs> The yeah. inspiration that I got for giving that little girl my hat, I grant it on to my ally. Roll again! Can you do that? Wait, can you do that? Can I not? I don't know. I, I, I thought is, I could. Is that like the inspiration a reroll? Um, is that allowed? Is that not allowed? I don't mm -hmm. think so. I think that's I a house. don't do that. I, think that's I rescind <laughs> my inspiration. You get nothing. You well, lose. Yeah, I was gonna, Good I was day, say, sir. Yeah. Luna failed moving a rock. <laughs> okay. So, Luna, you are able to push a lot of rocks. However, the sh the crumbling, shaking nature of these heavy rocks cause some of the other loose debris in the mountain to crumble down and you have to dodge the party has to dodge quite a few pieces of debris falling on them some mini avalanches not huge ones but some of them that do get in the way of your path and you do hear some creatures off in the distance that may have heard that as well uh oh wonderful who wants to bet that they're low on potassium <laughs> <laughs> if, if, we're looking for a nice to, banana. <laughs> if we're starting to hear things, Luna will probably be like, we should probably try to be quiet now. <laughs> yeah. So are you saying right. that now like whoever rolls next to him might, might all be like, let's go quietly. So that was that was what? a failure. I will let you know that three failures and you will uh, uh this this skill challenge will fail. Okay, okay. I, I totally misheard that for a second, and I thought you said that we had three failures so far. No, 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 so no. sorry. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. Oh. Like... You have two, two successes, uh, which will depend on how high of a roll that you make, and one failure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Well, I don't traverse mountains very often, but from what I've read, I think I can tell uh, routes more or less traveled, and by what... I would like to investigate the paths as we walk them so that we can steer clear of anything that might be dangerous and follow along things that other humanoids have gone and lived through. Go ahead and give me that investigation then. Yeah, Ooh. thank God, Nathaniel uh, and Renee. Are here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I forgot. You ah, investigate right. and you find. I forgot. You I forgot. This is a rock. This is this is a mountain pass. They're all rocks. They don't leave trails. My mistake. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no! 
You find oh, no. a uh, you find a path of footprints along kind of as you reach higher in the mountain along the snow, and uh, you hear you you follow them along and you're like, oh man, this is a very nice path, and it brings you to a big white clearing of snow, and the skill challenge is over. No. Is it because I rolled a natural one? A natural it is because one, you rolled a natural yeah. one, which counts as two uh, failures. Can I roll deception to make it look <laughs> green instead? Uh, also, sorry, chat. I'm going to refresh my roll 20. I don't know why it's taking a while for the rolls to load on my main screen, so I'm going to do that real quick. Yes, you find a just big white sheet of open area, and you encounter what seems to be an open cart. Oh God, uh, a map, no. Oh no. This was uh, planned. It was planned. Fuck. I don't want to get near that. I do. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, the player, I'm like immediately on today. Take me over, take me away, let's go. So yes, uh -huh. you guys <laughs> follow the trail and it seems that the footprints lead off and start to be covered by, by snowfall and fade along the path. Can I just say, upon seeing that overturned wagon, I am drawing both my swords? Am I allowed to have um, that prepared? <laughs> uh, you most certainly can. This seems dodgy, so... <laughs> Luna, would it be too much to ask that you send your echo to the cart so that none of us are injured? I have to stay within a certain range of it, but I can do that. Um, and so Echo Dad will come out, uh, get, let me get a Echo Dad! Here. Echo Dad! Get him out. Get him out. Let's go, there Echo is. Father. There he is. Echo Daddy. All right. I have to stay within 30 feet of it, so I can stand here, and he can stand by the cart. Um, I'm not a cool enough Echo Knight to actually look through him yet, but... <laughs> 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 Give me time. He Give can time come back and there. report. Uh, yeah. If I may, just he is in a physical case, object. So, I I am going to physically move, uh, and position myself behind this tree, and pull out the gun, and I'm going to swap my fourth bullet in the chamber with a silver bullet. Okay. So it'll be three shots of steel and then one shot of silver, just in case. The shot of silver oh. is the last shot, yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I I know I know I was talking to you about like I have to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be ahead of time. Yeah. So, um, does your echo allow you to like see through it or anything like that? Not yet. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, I was just going to have him poke around the, the wagon and see if anything jumps out. All right. You poke around in the wagon and uh, roll me a straight d20. Shit. Ooh. Tell me it's something cute and we can adopt it. Twelve. Please. Twelve. Horrifically average. All right. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Don't say that. That might be the number of things that appear. You you hear a little bit, a bit of shuffling and moving in the cart, and you can see the cart move and shift its weight a little bit. <laughs> Twelve cobalts. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Echo Dad is going to... Uh, how big is this cart? Would it be something he'd be able to turn over on its side? He uses my strength modifier. Uh, so. Well, I guess you would have to roll on athletics to find out. Sure, Did you say the cart sure. was moving? What? Did you say that the cart was moving? You said it shifted a little well, bit. Well, like, like shuffling, like you know how okay. you, like a car can shift side to side okay, when somebody's was, moving around I was, in it. I, I was about to freak out. I was like, oh god, the cart's still alive? <laughs> <laughs> the cart's a mimic. But where are the cart? You said. Oh god. You may. Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> Enoch, you got the highest roll here. You've switched the curse. <laughs> so your echo, your echo goes to pull the cart. <laughs> Your echo goes to pull the cart and a chunk of the wood breaks off. <laughs> and the sheet falls off and you can see inside some sort of lupine shaped creature that is just slumped down. Do I know what it is? Uh, you most certainly do. I live up here, so. <laughs> you, you most certainly do. You know that that is a warg. And oh, the body starts to move un unnaturally and lift up 
and you hear a muffle. Huh? I heard a person talking. You most certainly right. did. Yeah, I'm just approaching and whoever you are in there, we're not going to hurt you. And you hear it less muffled as you can see the lupine body lift a little bit. Ugh, considering our last encounter, I would consider otherwise. And you see uh, a man step out, one that you are familiar with, and he tosses oh. the warg body to the snow. It's like twice his it's, size. Is that the <laughs> asshole that like made fun of us right at the beginning of the campaign? No. It is not. This is what? an elf. What the hell are you doing all the way out here? I thought you were in Chester City. And I just start approaching him. He brushes his, his uh, trousers off. You can see there's snow and bits of blood on him. Oh, nice to see you too. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it, it's wonderful to see you. Sorry I ran off like that. I, something happened. What are you doing out here? He, he's, he smiles a bit. Una. Well, I uh, took a job from some folk to make a bit of coin. Been low on supply, as game's been tough to come across recently. At least safe game. Yeah, I imagine. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, everyone, remember when I mentioned I had a partner? Meet Scorpio. Oh. Scorpio, these are people I've been hired to work with. He gives you a very I pull casual out my ledger salute. and start writing. <laughs> Sorry. Go on. I said I pull out my ledger and start writing. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> Me and Luna, we go a little bit back. Used to hunt together. Oh, I ah, see. Still wearing that bear we killed, huh? Uh, listen, I got the last hit on it. I And I skinned it. What, what's your point? Fuck. So you both killed it. Sides, so I was about to ask you the same thing. What are you doing out here? I thought you hunted alone. <laughs> We're hired on an important job. Uh. And our path was taking us by Yesdal. I wanted to see what happened. Hmm. Say no more. Uh, are, are you just hiding out here with the warg, or are you also heading back to town? Oh, yeah, that thing. And he kind of kicks the body. that It doesn't shift at all. Hmm. Wargs nearby have been a bit irritable, venturing into lands outside their usual territory. Not sure why myself, but hey, That's weird. works work. That's My strange. My eyes narrow a bit, and I would like to roll insight. You most certainly can. Oh, shit. Okay. You can see that he, when he looks over at the warg, he has, uh, he scrunches his eyebrows and he scratches his chin, and just kind of looking around, you see that he is taking caution and as if his eyes are scouting the area. How strange that you find yourself here with your old acquaintance in the middle of the mountains. Aye. Work has us traveling a lot. But still, of course. this is a weird path for you to be on. It is. It's a weird path for these things. I was supposed to be back in Chester City by now. Would you know anything about That's why that. they've been riled up? I couldn't make any heads or tails of these things. Who knows? New predator moved into the area, maybe? Hmm. Not many predators would hunt wargs. They're the biggest things around. At least at this side of the mountain. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and I'm just kind of looking back at the others, like, shrugging my shoulders. Oh, Renee is just letting you talk. She's just observing very intently. My hand is on, my hand is on my Enoch. chin. Enoch's kind of keeping his space. I'm going to dismiss Echo Dad. <laughs> so, what now then? Are you heading back into town? Yep. Got to bring this thing back into the chief. They wanted to see some evidence that makes sure the road is more safe. And I've got evidence. Well, Mind giving me a yeah. hand? He goes down to lift it up. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, and I'm looking back at the others. I. If you're going back to... Uh, if you're going back to Yedzel... Yeah, um, I'm sorry, sorry, I completely worded that wrong. If he's heading back to Yadsul, do you mind if he tags along? Oh, not at all. I won't be staying for long. Where are you heading to? Up at Jester City. Been saving up for something. Only gotten there. 
Yes, you said you were supposed to be there by now. I was. Not curious, um, it's a few days away. It is. And what are you saving up for? He smiles a bit. Oh. She kind of... She kind of, like, leans in and pokes at his chest plate. <laughs> oh, well, that's something you'll have to beg. <sighs> really gonna do this now? I'm not dealing with that, and I'm gonna start picking up the warg. <laughs> oh. And as you do... Does anyone have a perception of 15 or higher? Uh, God damn you. Uh, no, a, a passive? Passive perception, no. yes. Passive. This passive is where I wish 13. I would have put my stuff into wisdom, but it didn't. Switch I am time. one level away from observant. No! I should have had it by now. It should have been my first level of feet. No. But no, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> As you go to help uh, Scorpio with a warg body, you hear very quick thumping through the snow. And Nathaniel, I'm going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, fuck. Not you my see boy. a large body heading towards you at lightning speed. No. It's just in a rock hits Nathaniel and he fucking dies. <laughs> no. It's not that bad. It That's worse than I expected. Let us see. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I don't like ooh. I don't like Ooh either. You are tackled down to the ground by a large lupine creature, and you see right on top of you, as you take three bludgeoning damage at the sheer force, right on top of you is a warg, and I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative. I shouldn't have dismissed Shadow Dad. <laughs> you shouldn't have dismissed Shadow Dad. Always keep him up. Ah, uh, I'm regretting everything. <laughs> Never gonna give you. Hey, eighteen. All right. Hey, decent on initiative at least. Oh no. Oh, you, listen, 21. you just got tackled, this so it's not... fair. You just it's got okay. tackled. It's I... okay. We're going to get that thing off you. Okay. I'm I feel one. like a brown banana. <laughs> I hate it. You're a bruised banana a right brown, now. A brown banana today. I hate it. Oh, great. Scorpio did not roll well. Oh. Oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, God, he really didn't roll well. That's a Holy shit. Uh, oh, see. no. He was distracted, I guess. Jesus Christ. And the wargs got the jump on you, it seems. Oh, Fuck. no. Okay. No. Uh, this is gonna what is good go sexterity? Uh, before, uh, no, you know what you go first. I, I meant before them. Yeah. Sorry. I rolled 21. My bad, my bad. I, I said 21. the words. I was 21. Okay. One level from Sentinel, God damn it. So... Enoch, uh, you see a warg right on top of this banana man. What do you do? <laughs> Let's see. I'm just gonna unload. Uh, I'm just gonna unload on this this thing. Ooh, do do? nice, yes, nice. Yeah. Good, good. Oh good shit! So straight, uh, straight that mess, and that's gonna be twelve piercing as. You literally yes. see as he slams back the hammer and just one shot. Boom! That is a right nice. hefty it. shot as well. Oh shit! Uh, can nice I? Uh, can I also say that that was one of my uh, marksman shots because I would like to use my grip point for it. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna use a winging shot for that because I want to knock it prone. Okay. So it needs to make Ooh. a strength saving throw. Strength of save. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, it. It the shot fires into it like pierces through a non-vital part, and it turns to you and growls. I'm gonna then I'm going to pretty much cock back the hammer and get ready for the next shot, and that's going to be the end of my action. Okay, um, is that your turn then? Yep, that's my turn. Renee, so your boss has a big old wolf-like creature on top of him. Oh no! Oh, I'd like at to his get bright yellow garb. No, get off of him. Um, would I know if sleep works on on a warg or not? Uh, you would know that it does. Okay, cool. Hello, <laughs> wolf needs to go to sleep now. But good night, goodbye. <laughs> oh no. Good night, okay. Mister Wolf. You're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm sorry for what I'm gonna do to the sleeping pot. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that wow. was the worst that I could have done. Oh, that's that bad. Is the, that's really oh. bad. Oh, oh no. Luckily, I, and I, assume, I assume you're gonna like put it to where it's like uh, like this, so it only hits the warp. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, yes, luckily, that is enough. Thanks to Enoch's shot, it has lowered the yes! HP low yes! enough to where <laughs> that does. I'm happy. Knock, I contributed. Knock the wolf, uh, warg, sorry, specifically, warg. Yep. To sleep. And it just falls and, onto the snowy then, floor. <laughs> I'm gonna give Bardic Inspiration as a bonus to Luna. And she's like, would you come get him off? Get that off of him, please. <sighs> I'm on it, I'm on it. Yes, thank you. Okay. Best spell in the game at I love levels. it, it's my favorite. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's gonna now, save all of our problems. The wargs turns. You hear more stomping in the snow as howling. Oh no, shit, there's more Oh of them. shit. And you turn to listen, and oh. there is a large pack of them. No! Oh god, they smell like vitamin C! <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. Wait. I thought it was your potassium! Holy shit, there's a lot of them. I wish I'd gotten higher now. I really wish I'd gotten higher now. I could have fucked two of them out. Wolves ah. can smell radioactivity. And you can see they're <laughs> slobbering shit. at the mouth and they are barreling towards you as if their life depends on it. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Luna, your turn. Uh, do I unleash the wombo combo now? Is that what I do? <laughs> All right. <coughs> no. <laughs> Wait, uh, it's not my turn. It's not my turn. Uh, I'm going to let you do your thing. I won't say anything yet. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not going to go full on uh, burning yet, but I am bringing out Shadow Dad. Shadow Sorry, Dad! Bird. Come back, Shadow Dad. I need you. Um, yeah. Uh, God. Do I attack the one that's sleeping, or do I go take out one of these? No, the one that's sleeping, because it's next to Nathaniel. Yeah, yeah so and I'm also, a... you'll have advantage. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to... Reaction, no, just for multiple reactions, just Okay, so well, I'm going to put Luna there. I'm going to have Shadow Dead oh, yeah, come the, up here. The work body that uh, Scorpio got, I'm just going to put it right here. Nice, nice. Uh, Shadow Dad's going back there, and I am bringing down retribution on this warg. Yep. All right, here we go. Is it 17 and 10 slashing? Nice, yes, that hits. Holy shit. Oh. Yes. He does wake up, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he does wake up, okay, though. Okay, um, is that enough? Well, it auto crits, doesn't it? Yeah, does it? Because oh, you're oh. sleeping, it means that they're prone. Oh, they're lying asleep yeah. on the ground. I roll an they're extra incapacitated. Dice, yeah. Yes. Roll another right, so just... d8. D8. Cool. I already got max damage on the first yep. one. So. Nice. You, yep. You execute that warg as it <laughs> just like oh. kill it in a Here's uh -huh. single uh -huh. slice. And then oh, oops. Sorry, uh, I keep I'm, closing that. I'm, I'm going to unleash my incarnation so that Echo Dad can also take a take an attack against that warg. Okay. Absolution, let's go! 19. Yes, nice, that hits. Yay. Another cut into that warg. It gets it along the way as it is just running towards you all. Uh-huh, yep, I'm just bracing myself. And that's my turn. Okay. Nathaniel, you were just hit by a large lupine creature. How do you feel? Yeah. Uh, so I am on the ground. I'm like, I push, press my arm into the snow as I start to cough and my vision stabilizes. <laughs> I look around. Uh, the, I'm not used to being hit. So I see all of these wargs around me and what, what, why, how? And I am confused seeing so many of these creatures. Can I roll something? They're all running as fast as they can. They're surrounding us, yes, but are they all actually coming at us? Just all of them? You could give me a perception for that. That works. Oh. We only oh, roll 20s shit. in this house. You look at Woo! them. Not only are they all coming to you, you can it's coming see. coming from the man who rolled the natural one earlier. Not only are they all coming to you, you can see their mouths are dry. Their teeth are unusually dry. Their, you can count the ribs on them. Their bellies are skinny. These, shit. these wargs are starving. Oh. Uh, in, in that case, uh, Renee, do you have illusion magic? Um. No, I don't. Fuck. Uh, I get up, and that's half my movement. Okay. Uh, shit, 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 shit. I don't have enough time to look through I, my things. I These can creatures are stopping. One of them. Throw your food out somewhere to lure them away. And oh. I am going to 
look at uh, a warg. Which one do I want to do? Let's see. That one's 45 feet. I'll say this one. It's 45 feet away. It's, it's, it's far enough away. Uh, and I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on it to nice. try to push it away. I'm going to reach into its mind and I am going to make it believe that not only are we not food, but we are the predators. Oh. And I cast Dissonant Whispers on it, which is six psychic, but, Okay, you know, yep, the main thing is the that's save. Only, that's only a How really wise small can a warg amount of be? damage, right? How wise right? can a warg possibly be? I can roll one good thing today that matters, please. Oh, man. That 22 perception didn't matter, huh? Not really. It told me the wargs were hungry. <laughs> well, I mean, it did tell me more. It told yes. I'm being pedantic, but... Uh, and that warg f fails, it halts, and kind of skids across the snow and starts to back away, snarling. It has been feared. Ooh. Which one was feared? Uh, this one, right? Isn't that yeah, what this boy. whisper yes, does? Yeah, yes. Uh, so it does, it's not feared. I can click on it for you. Yeah, 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 just to make sure. Uh, I think it, it must, it, I believe it must use its reaction to uh, run as far away, yeah, it must immediately ah. use its reaction, if available, to move as far its speed away from me as possible. Gotcha, yeah, so it will do that. Uh, actually, yeah. it does that right now, because it's not its Yes, turn. it must use its yeah. reaction. It immediately starts to book it the other direction, uh, yep. seeing that you are the predator, and that does make a couple of the other wargs hesitate. Uh, then, as a bonus action, uh, I am going to turn to uh, Enoch, Luna, and Scorpio, I will reach my hands out as a tiny, bright pink lines shoot out, and I connect with their minds, and I will give them the alacrity necessary to immediately move up to their speed as a reaction Ooh. if they so choose. Yay. Oh, actually, it's four people. Okay. It's four people. I can use the RNA as well for fuck all these guys. Everybody but me. I don't need to move, but they do. Here is my no, uh, no, mantle. we're just going to surround you. <laughs> yep, it's called Mantle of Inspiration. Of inspiration. Nice. Yep, yep, I love Mantle of Inspiration. Yep. Yes, hello. As I connect with all of your minds and sort of not force you, but influence you, push you, your bodies to activate that bit of adrenaline and move immediately. Let me uh, you also see. gain five temporary hit points. You're welcome. Thank you. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. I just I need to see how powerful this one thing is. I didn't see the bottom of the map in that. No, there. <laughs> there are. We are yeah. getting surrounded. This is a pack. Cool. Uh, is it five is one... temp HP? Yep. yep. Five temporary HP to all four of you, and you can immediately use your reaction to move up to your speed if you would like. Feet cool. All right. All right. Let me make sure I'm still within Shadow Dad limits. I definitely am. Scorpio in gets Dad. up onto the cart and is getting ready to pull out a bow. Cool. Uh, five. I am going to, like, start to, as my vision's, like, re coming back in, I'm going to stumble over here and make my way to the cart so that I can eventually Five, find cover. Ten. Mm -hmm. That's just part of my turn. Okay. And let's see as far as I can move. Actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this rock as my cover. I'm just going to put myself here, then. Try and, try and get myself more out into seeing a more open area so I can gather all the information. Okay. Next is Scorpio's turn. He's going to take out his uh, longbow and he's going to fire a shot directly at that warg where, that you're going for, uh, Luna. <laughs> I'm and... fight this man for stealing my kills, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he hits and he is going to use uh, he's going to use distracting strike on it. Ooh allows the next attack on it to gain advantage. And he deals a little bit hey. of that extra damage. Yep, the arrow goes into the ward's shoulder and it snarls a little bit as it takes a nice arrow. I'll let you have that one. Scorpio calls out to you. Uh-huh, uh -huh. yeah, you're letting me have it. Next, Enoch. All right. Uh, shit. The last thing I need is to be surrounded. I really want to try more intimidation with this, if I can, Joe. What's your plan? Kind of, I'm going to spend my action, and I am going to actually do the thing. I'm going to use my Radiant Soul, and I'm bringing out the mechanical wings, as you see as he is recognizing that we are out the fuck numbered, and also vastly... Uh, 
unprepared. So in light it. of seeing Nathaniel kind of getting one to start running away, burst out in this steel blue light and just go straight 30 feet into the air. Okay, yeah, I'll say you can do an intimidation for that. It's a big, bright, glowy man with mechanical wings appearing out of nowhere that they thought was just gonna be easy food. Oh, yeah. oh my God, the All food right. glows. The food, it lights up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the shiny food. Uh, it's like a quest marker. <laughs> That's... <laughs> yep. That's investigation, That's not a... intimidation. Yeah. If you, uh, sorry, if you eat sorry. the food, you level up. I... Yeah, sorry. Six. <laughs> Whole six. Look, it's it's shiny. Shiny uh, food. Well, you transform, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> the wargs are unfazed by this. Though they do see that. A bigger target. They do see that since you're up in the air, their attention has been redirected to the rest of the party that is grounded. <gasps> good, good angle for you, Fisher. Right. <laughs> good angle, but. I'm Joe, just trying is there to see a clip the nearby? silver lining here. Joe, from my perception, do I see that there is a possible way to get them away from the party and then also kind of keep them away from the party, like a cliff or like something? Hmm. Give me a perception check. Okay, okay, okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, see if you can look oh, around while under high pressure. Why? <laughs> There are no good rolls today. <laughs> there are no good rolls. There's no such thing. Yeah, you look around and you, so good. you you could possibly lead them to some kind of cliff face. It might take some exploring since you are under high pressure and there's a lot going on. It's hard to focus on anything in particular. Okay, then I am going to... So, Joe, would it be purposeful to say that I have all the work's attention? No. I thought he said uh, they were redirected from you. You redirected away from you since you are up in the air. <laughs> they can't reach you up there, so they're not going to bother. <laughs> All right, that's fine. You want to know what? Action surge. I'm putting I'm putting one in uh in I guess <laughs> this one. Okay, does your gun have a range of uh 85 feet? It has uh, it has a 240 foot uh, maximum range. So, what is the optimal range? Uh, 60 to 240. 60. So you will be shooting at disadvantage at that range. If you choose something that's 60 feet or less, then you will. Yeah, there's a couple others that okay. you, like up here yeah, that you can yeah. hit without okay, hitting. Well, then, you can hit yeah. okay, this so guy, I'm this gonna, guy, this guy. Okay, this then guy, I'll do guy. the I'll do the one this that guy. I can see right here up top. That one. Okay. And. Yeah. Hey, you can shoot that one. And I'm gonna... uh, yes, that hits. Bang! Yay! A loud noise echoes throughout the mountains. Okay. And also, I could do an extra 1d4 radiant damage because the wings are out. Nice, nice. So... All right, three and a d4. <laughs> oh, God, man! Wait, is, the, is the radiant damage... Is it a d4 or is it tied to your level? I thought the radiant uh, damage from the... Oh, I thought the radiant damage was I, tied to your I, level. I... Yeah. Unless it's different for protectors, I, I uh, haven't played a protector before. I've only played uh, Scourge and Fallen. It does. It does three extra points of radiant damage because, uh, because of my level. Okay, so, so it is based yeah, on level. So six. So three piercing, three okay. radiant. As six. This, the shining light just goes over and. Poof. Yep. God. You blast it, it and 20. it hits the warg, and a bright light just kind of briefly flashes over the spot that you hit it, kind of along the leg area. Okay. Uh, anything else? You have an additional bonus action because of your um, action surge. I would... I'm trying to think of something, literally anything, to get us out of this as much as... as quickly as possible. Uh, well, if you can't think of anything, then no need yeah, to. No. All right. Yeah, no, it's fine. All right, I'm done. Renee, I'm done with my action. Your turn. Hello. Um. Listen, this this is another one of my handy dandy spells. It's pretty common. Um, I'm gonna shatter these two wolves. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna shatter them. Show me um, the shatter. And hopefully, hopefully yeah. that that screaming will also intimidate at least one of the wolves, depending on how awesome this roll is. We'll see. You have to make a um. 
Constitution save. Okay. Yep, Constitution save 14 or else you get 15 Ooh. thunder damage. They take Krakow. the full damage as a loud yes. booming noise cracks and you can see them whimper and halt in their uh, in their advance. Oh, yeah. And the crack <laughs> also the, the crack also echoes throughout the mountains and you can hear the echo bouncing back to you from higher oh. up. Avalanche time, baby! Let's That's do it again! Just work. That's not how avalanches <laughs> work, so we're fine, right? I want oh. avalanche! Oh, I give no. it to me! <laughs> I, I'm not the kind of Osmar that can fly. I'm scared. <laughs> All right. So here's here's my here's my very smart Nathaniel oh, plan. No. We we kill a lot of these wargs and stack them on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> or we just get on the cart and ride it. <laughs> that sounds like death. <laughs> Listen, oh, actually, it's meant for travel. That might actually be a good idea. Anyway. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So the wargs turn. They're uh, these two kind of whimper at the sound. Let's see. They are hungry, but they know when they're beat, and one of them runs away. Good. Oh. Yeah, you better run. The other one runs directly towards you. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Uh -oh. See, what's oh. there? Mistake! <laughs> mistake! Oh, really? Bitch better have my money! Made. Oh, oh, yeah, they're all, they're all very fast. So, let's see. Give me money! This one runs up to you, Renee, and is going to go try and take a bite out of you. Take yeah. it now, No, please! Oh, no. I'm squishy! And your AC is. We just need to shove you both in the cart. <laughs> yeah, it's able to. It's able to grab your swift movement, yeah. kind of on the arm, and scratch you. Uh, Valid. With its, with its teeth, you take four slashing damage. I can do that. That's fine. This one runs up to you as well. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! Okay, now uh -oh. I might be in trouble. Ooh, it trips and kind of buries its face in the snow. <laughs> Oh. That's an oh. one. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that's adorable, but fuck. This one. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Kind of uh -oh. over the no. the dead body. Up to you, Nathaniel. Uh-oh. And it's going to take it's a not bite out of you. It's not. Uh -oh. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. You, are, you manage Wait. to dodge out of the way. Oh, God. <gasps> that's how you get a... Uh... Oh, Listen, that, that, Nathaniel, I have, a a I have a plan. I have a plan. You see this here? radius? You see this radius? There's a plan. That uh, is a fireball plan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. no, oh, I don't have no. fireball. I don't have fireball. Yeah, That's but I, you just I did something close to it. No. Anyway, let's see what happens. Let's this, see what happens. Uh, this one uh, is able to find a good opening on you, Luna, and bites you for, ah. for four did, did damage as well. It? For the record, AC 17. Oh, 17. You have two swords. Oh, luckily. Yeah. No, you are able to parry oh. that warg. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. I will shout that from the rooftops. <laughs> good, I... good. Mm. <laughs> this one, however, will also be parried. This one. Oh, God. <laughs> is able oh, to get God. you th through your defenses being bombarded by so many at once. Fuck. Oh, luckily, you only take one damage. Okay. <laughs> okay. How that hurt. Oh, that didn't even take and out of my... Thank you for that temp HP, man. This one as well. Oh, hello! <laughs> they're all pi dog pile on you, but they're rolling uh -huh. shit, so this one is not able to pierce your defenses. This one is going to take a bite at your... Uh, your Echo. Yeah, his AC is 16 because he doesn't have two swords. And it... We've, I... It bites through his swords and pff, he puffs into smoke. He has unfortunately been defeated. Well, Echo Dad's coming back in like a turn, yep. so it's fine. <laughs> this one is going to start making its way towards the cart, towards the cart, towards the cart. All right, that's a lot of wargs. Luna, what do you do? You're surrounded by four wargs. <laughs> that I am, that I am. Uh, well, Shadow Dad, I, I kind of need you to come back, so uh, yeah, um, behind that this one. That awkward moment. <laughs> that awkward moment when you realize you don't have to outpace the wargs, you just have to outpace Luna. <laughs> <laughs> So Shadow Dad's gonna appear on the other side of this guy. All right. Um, uh, I'm just letting you know an action surge is going to be burned because I am unleashing my uh, radiant consumption and I'm bursting into light because everything around me needs to take burning damage now. <laughs> very, yes. very nice. So they all take three? 
Yep, three radiant damage on all these fuckers. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, burning my action search for the day because I also want to take a smack. <laughs> okay, yes, they all take a bright, just a big old light shining right in their faces. <laughs> take your smack. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm smacking at this one. He is flanked by Shadow Dad, so I believe that's a plus two. And uh, retribution with cons- radiant consumption. Let's go. Do it. Oh, well, oh. there oh. was a nat 20 in there. There was a nat 20, 20 in another universe. <laughs> we would have seen oh, it. That's depressing. World. But even in with flanking, that is not enough. Life. All right, unleashing my incarnation because I took an attack action. Shadow Dad, make it better. <laughs> do better than me. He did better yes, than me. Yes, he does do better. <laughs> All right, which one? Which one are you specifically attacking? Specifically that one. Okay, that the one center we were one. Okay, I just need to mark a lot of things. I am sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Okay, yes, Shadow Dad cuts into that warg pretty heftily. Nathaniel, Ugh. you can see there's uh, a warg that has run right up to would you. Would I have been able to shout at Scorpio to cover the others and that I'm fine? Yeah, I could say that would probably be a free action. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. Enoch, stay in the air. I'm going to bring my hands up once more, and these thin pink lines are going to shoot out from my fingers to Renee, Scorpio, Luna, and myself. Oh. As I force my body to move away from this warg, and I'm going to try to climb up onto this thing just <laughs> where Scorpio is as well. Yep, yep. Let me just move this to the back so that you're on top. Eh. I don't have to roll because I uh, does not provoke attacks of opportunity. So that's going to be that... Luna and Renee as well. Oh, You're using your mantle again? Continues, if he wants it. right. Oh, uh, yes, are this you... is Mantle of Inspiration. All right, awesome. Are you telling us to come up with you on the card or are we just refreshing our temp HP? I mean, I'm if dead. you'd like, you do, you do what you would like to. Uh, it is, it does not provoke attacks of opportunity. I'm mm-hmm. hopping up on there with you. Let me, let me make sure. Just <laughs> Holy shit. I remember... Uh, uh, yeah, without provoking opportunity attacks. Yeah, which no, means I'm if you want to not be surrounded by four dogs, you can be, but it's up to you. <laughs> I mean, there's four dogs surrounding me, but I also have a shadow dad and insane defense, so I'm, I'm weighing my options here about well, not you... bringing the four dogs to you, squishies. Well, you know what? I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to climb up here, uh, and I see more of these dogs, but I'm not particularly interested in... Uh, in, in wasting all of my spell slots. I'm already wasting enough resources trying to survive this. Uh, I am going to hold my hand out and try to infect the mind of this warg as I cast Mind Sliver. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Let's see if they make it. Oh, no, not at all. This one whimpers a little bit and immediately starts booking it the other direction. But takes a, takes a brief look at the dead warg and almost is tempted, but leaves. It's like, nope, fuck that. What a good idea. Yeah, no, I'm telling That's you, we turn. should throw the dead wargs at them. There, they have food and we can leave. <laughs> That's my turn. Okay, <laughs> next is Scorpio, and he looks at you climbing up, Nathaniel. Uh, first time in the wilderness, friend. First time on a fucking mountain surrounded by wolves. <laughs> and he just pats you on the back. <laughs> and uh, he... Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for him in advance. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to take a very special arrow and fire it out right over here, and it's gonna explode. <laughs> and let's see if the words make. Mm, it explodes oh, in a shit. small area uh, of fire and covers the wargs' fur and singes it. And this one is dead. <laughs> Sorry, nice. that one had your name on it. I just was tempted. <sighs> Told you about stealing my kills. You'll hear about this later. And, uh... That'll be his turn. Uh, Enoch! You are still 30 feet up in the air. You've fly, flown to a All new right. position. Yeah, uh, I, I'm at the top of this tree, and I'm just gonna try and fold myself into the right position to try and just speculate to the best of my ability i'm going to put one in this guy okay okay come on objection 
Ooh, hey, nice. Okay, I got let me see. Point back. Let me see the damage. Nice, nice. Five and it takes six. an additional three, yeah? Yeah, it takes an additional three radiant. Okay. Uh, from... Yes, you fire into it, and another loud bang echoes throughout the entire uh, mountains. And this time, the echo coming back sounds bassier. Oh. <laughs> We're bringing the avalanche. Let's go. <laughs> and this warg is looking rough. Right. Very, very uh, rough. Can I, s can I see why that sounds different comparative than before? You can give me another perception. <gasps> That's gonna be my bonus action. That's fine. Eleven. You can hear a low rumbling. From where? Who knows? I shout to everyone. Oh, there's something coming down the mountain. And I, uh, uh, it's my third shot. I'm on the silver bullet, so I'm gonna cock back the hammer and get ready for the last shot before I reload. Okie dokie, Renee, you're on the cart with Nathaniel and Scorpio. What do you do? Um, well, hearing that, do I have any idea of what's going on? You can give me a uh, perception as well, if you would I like. I would love to, thank you. That will take your free action. Uh, that's okay, I don't mind taking my free action because she's a thinker. She doesn't have a lot of talking going on right now. That won't help me. You try oh. to wait and listen, you can hear the rumbling as well. However, it's, pre it's pretty drowned out by the snarling and barking of all these wargs. Can I get Renee's inspiration back or something? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's okay. Um, well, ain't no time like a sleepy time. <laughs> going okay. for sleepies again. Okay, where? Where are the area? Um, I'm going to, let me make the circle first, mm -hmm. just so I can make sure I got it. So, it is a 20 foot radius. I believe that's right. Is that right? Uh, I think larger than that. Um, okay. Yeah, because like 20 feet is five oh. squares. Okay. So, so it would be twin, one, uh, 10 two, squares three, four, tall. And two, three, four, five. I think. Wait. One, yeah. two, three, four. Sorry, four. It would be eight squares okay, wide so one, two, and three, tall. Four. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Making sure I get this right. Uh, so it's it's a radius from the center, so it's actually like twice that size. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. So is that the area of sleep you would like to do? Uh, that. Okay. Right there. Give me your sleep. Right roll. there. <laughs> I'll just put them all to sleepsies. Snoozy time. Oh, that was beautiful. That it's was a better. Blue number. Why is it blue? Oh. Interesting. I don't, oh, that means that oh, you rolled. Oh, because I got an eight and a one. You rolled yeah, a, yeah. a max, max and a. Interesting. Yeah, max yeah. and a min. Because everyone knows that green and red make blue. So this one goes to sleep. This one goes to sleep. And this one goes to sleep. You have yeah, three Three wards. of them are now out of combat. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait. Three out of three out of three. That was like 50% of them. That ain't bad. I'll take it. That means that they only have understood. Yep. Next are the wargs turns. And uh, this one, <laughs> immediately, seeing you guys go up on the cart and defeating more wargs, seeing that there's not as much competition, immediately starts sinking its teeth into this dead warg. Oh! And this one as well, starts immediately just just going Good. down, just going fully in on this one. Good. Valid, but ooh. This one as well. Eat those and not us. And actually these two start to fight. They're howling at each other, hounding, oh, barking, so they get... and they start to fight. Ooh, hold on. Oh shit. Yeah, and they, they start to go at it and pierce their fangs into each other. <laughs> uh, this one. Windigo wards. Windigo wards. Windigo wards. It's going Remember? to. Windigo wards. 17. <laughs> it is a 17. I'm just seeing if it's going. Yeah, it's going for the body. Okay. It immediately starts. Immediately, as soon as that other warg uh, has been cooked by Scorpio, it immediately <laughs> sinks its teeth into it and starts to uh, bite in. Oh god, this is this one. normal behavior? Whoops. This one's gonna attack you. Does not make it. This one's gonna attack uh -huh. you. Does not get through. Get the fuck away from me, bitches. <laughs> this one is gonna try and hop up and hit Scorpio. Ah, uh, he can handle it. He's fine. Oh yeah, he's, he's absolutely fine. He just he just <laughs> kicks the warg down as it jumps up. <laughs> Sorry, Oof. no pets allowed. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Your good fi your goldfish died a painful death. <laughs> Why'd you have to bring it up? That sounds like a very interesting <laughs> story for another time. I would like to hear it when I live. And this one is going in and starts to tug of war this warg's dead body oh from God. the other one. Oh my God. Luna, 
your turn. Well, first off, these three wargs are getting cooked because radiant consumption. Ooh, yes, they um. do. And this one is on the ropes. <laughs> Didn't that one's getting the bath? Awesome. <laughs> that one's getting a bath. All right, retribution, let's go. That's fuck. Uh, oh, oh, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's not getting the bap, I guess. You should have been nice to the dog. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I've been so nice to these dogs. You should so have been nice to day. the dog. You stab right. hard into the ground and you lodge your sword into some some stray stones that you could not see due to the snow. It will require your bonus action to pull it out. All right, bonus action to pull it out, All and right. that'll be my turn, I guess, because yeah. I got nothing else uh, except for these fuckers burning. All right. Nathaniel, burn, your turn. Dog, burn. <laughs> I'm going to look at this scene that's happening around me. I'm going to take a couple of breaths as my adrenaline wears down. My eyes go from alert and er erratic. My eyes slink down to calm my face betrays no emotion. And I look down at the wargs that are currently fighting over a dead body. Go. Shoo. <laughs> and I cast Mind Sliver on one of them. Ooh. I only, one psychic's enough. Leave. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out. The main Get thing the is you want the here. effect. Uh, there's the effect. Yep, yep, it, yep. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, one damage. Uh... Oh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't go away. No. Oh no, that's that's the different. Spell. That's dissonant whispers. I'm just yeah, trying to right. hurt it. it I'm just trying to hurt this one so that mm -hmm. it goes away. Yep. You you see it flinch ever so slightly, but continue <laughs> just gnawing into its uh, former packmate. Guess we're not taking that skin home. I am going to, like, just sort of like w without betraying my ability to balance on this thing, I'll stand as straight as I can. So, your name is Scorpio. Aye. I imagine that you're a... a cancer, then. <laughs> I hate you! I absolutely hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Renee turns around like, really? That's right three now? points of psychic right damage to Enoch, please. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points to Slytherin! You, you see, right now? You see, you see his face go over confusion a little bit, and he looks over to Luna. Well... I wouldn't say it's that harsh, but I do know that sometimes I can get on people's nerves. <laughs> I hate this. I end my turn. There's nothing right, else I I'm want the only to do. One that's allowed to personally insult him like that. All right. No one's ever been that harsh on my on me before. He's harsh like that to everyone. Don't take it personally. All right, and uh, he is going to take another shot with his with his trusty bow. Ooh, and it goes wide. It lodges into the tree as the warg dodges out of the way. Mm. I believe the session where I do one damage is, or I can't believe the the turn where I do one damage is the one that I like the most. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your turn. Your silver bullet is loaded. Uh, all right. Easiest thing that I can do is just fire. Fire. Then I fired, and then I missed, and then I fired again, and then I missed. <laughs> Fire. And then and I miss. Unfortunately, you do miss. <laughs> However, the loud, pinging, piercing sound of the silver bullet echoes throughout the mountain once again. Yeah, I was aiming for this dude, but and all of you, all of you have a passive I perception miss. above ten, so you do hear a loud rumbling coming from the peak of the mountain. Uh -oh. oh God damn it! You have two turns. To go where? You have two turns before the take avalanche cover. covers you. <laughs> to take cover, that's what we have two turns to do. Renee. I'm I'm going straight this up into the air further. Like, yeah. I'm, All right. Am I going to be okay on this thing or am I do I need to move? Uh you are able to so that thing the the size is not accurate since you know you don't take up fully right. 5 feet of space. Of course. So it can <laughs> fit you in the cart although a bit of it has been broken off and the you know the the piece of cloth has been torn the covering. Okay. Hmm. If I were to grab Nathaniel and yank us into the thing, would I be able to, would that be considered my action or hmm. could I say that I'm like pulling him in there and then trying to fix the wagon as fast as possible? I'll say that's I'm an like action. To, yeah. What are you trying to do by fix? Basically, like you said, the tarp was a little bit torn. I'm basically trying to like create a little hole that we can like potentially not die. Okay. From an yeah, avalanche. Yeah. I don't know if this is a good idea. I'll but. say 
to fix the cart the best that you can, either a sleight of hand or survival check. Okay. To try and put the pieces they're back the together as best as you can, mend what you they're can. The same either way. But Renee will also like basically like hear like hearing the the sound of the avalanche coming closer. She's just like looks over at the Daniel like we need to take cover now. Like it's just whoop. The cart is our best option. Yep, and in, in we go, and I will do sleight of hand, I guess. I. Ooh, all right. You're able to pull yes. some extra bit of tarp that has been like kind of tucked into the side of the cart. You pull it up, cover, and you do see that the kind of front of the tarp does have like laces, like rope laces that can tie it closed. Oh, <laughs> Just. Da -da -da -da. The cart has been repaired. I'm gonna put it upright to signify that. Hey, nice. <laughs> and probably call out it like. All right, now would be a good time to get some cover. And that's my turn. But also, actually, no, no, just kidding. I have bonus action. I'm safe. You're safe. Enoch's flying. Luna's the only one I'm worried about. I already gave that... you bardic inspiration. Can I double it? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't. Joe, yeah, that's okay. If if I may make a slight retraction, I did. I like. I did want to move closer towards those wolves if I can, but if not, then not. Um, I'm gonna say that you already made your choice to move upwards on your okay. turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps your next turn, on... when the avalanche, the final turn before the avalanche, you can move closer to the wards. Yeah. Uh, before we move on, I already gave my one of my bardics to Luna. I'll give my other bardic uh, to Scorpio. All right. Awesome. So yeah, get in here. <laughs> Hurry up and get in here, friends. Oh. I'm coming. I have a plan. I'm coming. You better have a plan. I'm coming, damn it. Good. <laughs> you know, that's very nice of you. I wish Luna would, would pay me compliments from time to time. I don't even start with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure none of you die. Oh, God. Next to the wargs turn. And uh, the sleeping wargs do, do, don't do anything. They're asleep. Uh, let's see, how many of them start running away from the avalanche? That's a good question. Oh no, the poor sleeping wargs don't stand a chance. It's fine. Fuck them. It's fine. Oh, it's, still, it's so sad. Okay. I, uh -huh. These two try to drag off the body, still tugging it, uh, kind of fighting over it. But they kind of go away, trying to run away from the avalanche. These two continue to fight. However, one seeing the avalanche starts to run away, and this one continues to chow down on the body. Hungry. Uh, hungry boy. This one, uh, the radiant damage from you, it activates on your turn, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so he's still fine. He's still chowing down. Uh, this one, ooh, gets a bite in on Scorpio. Oh, it's... <laughs> and he goes, he goes to parry a few blows, and while uh, he holds one, with his sword kind of like holding its teeth back, it scratches him, kind of gnawing at him. Oh. And these two are going to try to hit you, Luna, once again. Ooh. Yeah, this one gets a good scratch in on you as well. Okay. And you damage? take six damage. <laughs> oh, that's my temp HP gone. Oh, no. And this Ten. one's going to try and hit you as well. All right. Ooh, luckily, you're able to parry the blows away from that one. Okay. And now it's your turn, Luna. All right, so I'm going to invoke a really cool ability here. So okay. Shadow Dad's going to move here. Okie dokie. I believe, hold on, I'm just going to check because I'm pretty sure I can have him move just by commanding him, but I'm going to make sure because if not, I can't do this. One this moment, I am so sorry, mm -hmm. but, but, uh, uh, no, it is, it, it is a free action to have him move. He just can't move outside of a certain radius. Uh, in a, f uh, a, 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 like, cloud of raven's feathers, Luna disappears. Ooh. And appears where her Echo is, and Echo down in her switch place! <laughs> oh! Nice! Great idea. Uh-huh. And I want to get on the cart. I know it'll promote, promote an attack of opportunity, I'd just rather take one and not three. <laughs> okay, good idea. Valid. Yep. So... Oh yeah, you easily are able to move out of the way from the warg. Yeah, I, I want to follow Renee and Nathaniel into the cart. Um, I only have 15 feet of movement because teleporting takes 15, uh, half your movement. But I'm pretty sure that's enough for me to get into the cart and maybe drag Scorpio in with me because he got hurt. Yep. 
Yeah, he is just kind of like hanging one leg out on the edge, like sticking out with his like b- with his sword and his bow, kind of each in a hand, and he's come on, and you pull him in. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. All right. And that's that. Oh, I'm also dropping my radiant consumption because I don't want to burn everybody. <laughs> right. That would be smart. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, actually, when does radiant consumption happen? At the beginning of your turn or at the end? Uh, hold on. Let me check. I believe it's at the beginning, but I also could be wrong. Yeah, that is important. Just, that's celestial resistance, not radiant consumption. But, 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 oh. Once on each of your turns, it does not specify. Okay. Um, Wait, no, 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 sorry, that was the other thing, that was the other thing. At the end, so no, they don't Okay, take at it. the end, all right, yeah, the wargs would not have taken that damage then. Yeah, Shadow Dad is staying there, though, to does give them something mean, to fight. Does that mean we do? No, no she dismissed I, it. I, I dropped it, I dropped oh, it. Oh, okay, I'm just saying, I'm just, <laughs> don't worry. Like, Got it, all she right. She dropped it, like, getting it. You so. are all in the cart. Nathaniel, what do you do? Uh, now that I am in a much more, like, inquisitive mindset, uh, back to my old ways, I look around this cart, this ramshackle, disgusting thing that we're in, and we're expecting it to stop a force of nature. I would like to investigate to see if this thing is even going to hold if an avalanche hits it. You may. Oh! We only roll 20s in this house. You look it over, (laughs) it seems like it could use a bit of renovating. And this thing might hold, but you're not so sure. It'll depend on the avalanche. But, uh there is a very possible likelihood that taking an avalanche may crush this thing. Uh, how big are these trees? They're about like average oak tree sized. Um, like Theoretically, fair- would they be able to hold an avalanche if it hit them? <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'll say I'll use your high investigation Yay. and it could certainly probably help uh, tone down the force against the cart. If the cart was propped up against it, or if... Yes. As a sort of buffer. This wagon's not going to hold. Uh, Luna, get your echo over here. We need to push this cart against the tree. Will do. And on my next turn, I guess that's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I can't do anything, so I'm just gonna, I, I'll be here. Next is Scorpio's <laughs> turn. Hang out. How did you go back to my turn? How did you do that? Uh, by dragging the thing from my, the turn order back up to the top. Oh, that, oh, that makes sense. I've always wondered how to go backwards on the turn order, but never mind. I, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> All good. All right. Uh, Scorpio, see, he, he thinks for a moment. Oh, I see a plan. And, uh, he hops out of the cart as well, ready to help Luna. Okay. Cool. All right, this is the final turn. At the end of this turn, i.e. after Scorpio goes, the avalanche will cover the area. This oh. is the final, this is your final turn before the avalanche. Enoch. Glad I saved my inspiration. What do you do? I, I am extremely useless in this situation. At least you're safe. You're you in a safe, safe spot. I'm glad I you're mean, in a safe spot. Do you uh, want me to recommend I, something well, or do you Enoch's want to chill Enoch's not out? glad he's in a safe spot because he's seeing everyone down there. Do, do you mind if I recommend something? Sure, I'll, I'll take any suggestion at this point. This wolf is still alive! <laughs> and we're about to push the cart over there! All right, uh, I'm gonna put one in him then. Oh, fuck, no, I can't. Oh. No, you gotta reload. You, you oh, shot no! your four shots. Action, action, I pop open the, pop open the pistol, shells fly out, reload, click it back. Even if, even that will not do much of anything. It's gotta be something. It's gotta be something. It's gotta be something. Do you have an action surge left or did you use it? No, nah, he used his already. Used Fuck. It. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, it's okay. I was just looking at that like this whole time going, yeah. ooh, if we're gonna move it over there, <laughs> we need to get Mr. Boyo out of the way. Yeah. Echo Dad could probably distract it. Push comes to shove. Okay. That's fair. I am nose diving straight to the cart and I am going to see. Do you have enough movement? I thought you were 60 see. feet up in the air. He could He's dash. 30 feet up in the air. Oh wait, no, he used his action to reload, Never mind. Yep. Yeah, you are 60 feet up, so you're approximately 120 feet away from the party. Oh, oh no. God. I was just you're literally just up there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's okay. All right. We have a plan. 
It'll be fine. We have a plan and <laughs> it'll be okay. Three relatively strong people who can help execute it. I think we'll be okay. I'm just gonna you float over by the tree and I'm just gonna prop myself on top of that. Well, the tree is not 60 feet tall, but uh, yes, you are above 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 the tree. Slowly lowering myself just in case. Mm -hmm. All right. In case I need to drop and then start helping. Oh, that's going to be a nasty fall damage. (laughs) Catch himself with his wings. Yeah, like if you guys start tumbling down the mountain, I'm going to have to start flying to pick you guys up. Valid. Um, Hopefully we won't. Renee, your turn. Yeah. The, this thing is already coming towards us, but I'm afraid if I use this one thing that I do have, it'll just make the avalanche come faster. And uh, what's that? Uh, I have thunderclap. <laughs> I don't think you can make it move any faster. I think you could make it worse. Thunderclap has a hundred mile sound radius. Oh, it's yeah. a very loud smell. Yeah, that might end up um, causing another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably shouldn't. Wow, Joe, you had two avalanches in your game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just I'm thinking, avalanche. I think about what I could do, and I'm not very smart. <laughs> Me as a player, I'm not very smart, so I'm panicking. <laughs> I mean, um, if you want to thunderclap these bitches, fucking go for it. It's your character. Do what you I, want. The thing is, I know Renee is smarter than me. I want to do it. <laughs> but you know, you know Renee's know in your head that like, that's a bad idea. Renee's already in my head like, bitch, what? Do it. Um, <laughs> do it, 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 do it. Nathaniel it's is only a five foot radius, so I literally have to go in, like, squeeze between you two and then cast it at this dude and then go back. And at the end of the day, it doesn't even cause that much damage. It's just do very it. loud. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. This is if not Nathaniel speaking. This is Davy. Just do it. <laughs> Davy gives terrible advice. All right. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Um. Good fish. Nah, Renee. Renee's a bit smarter than that. She is going to use what little strength she has to help push the cart when everybody's pushing the cart over there. Maybe if we all work together, we can run it over. I mean, if you're giving the help action, that means you're giving advantage on the checks. On the, yeah, I'll, so give, I'll, help, nice. I'll help with the cart. I'll help right. with the cart. Because that's all I really can do. Luna, then. Yep. Ugh. I'm down yeah. with that. Yeah. Next are the works turns. And them seeing the avalanches, they're all now going to start running away. Oh, thank some God. of them are later than others. So these kind of go. It wasn't even a problem. This one tries to drag this body with it. It's being very greedy, <laughs> but it doesn't hungry. get as far. It's hungry, okay? Hungry boy wants his food. This one runs out of Scorpio's attack of opportunity range, but he lets it go. So he doesn't want to dirty his sword. This one is going to try and drag away the warg body as well. Whereas this one is tug of warring it because mm-hmm. they're fighting, because they're hungry. This one's going to run away as well, just on its own without any penalty to movement. For the record, technically my shadow gets attacks of opportunities. It just takes ah. my it just takes my reaction. Would I'm going like to let these fuckers go, but that is uh, something I want to be known is that my no, echo can take my attack of opportunity. It just takes my reaction to do so. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, they're fucking broken, man. It's great. <laughs> Luna. Your turn. Uh, jumping out of the cart and starting to push it towards the tree. Okay. I'm helping. We will make those checks at the end of the round. Oh. Nathaniel, anything you want to do? Um, well, let's see. There's an avalanche coming. We're all trying to push the cart to the tree, and I have such a low strength score that if I tried to help, then the cart would be pulled towards me. <laughs> Might I recommend something? Uh, you know what? I'll take recommendation recommendations at this point. <laughs> Only because I'm thinking about it. Um, remember when I like reinforced the um, the cart itself? Maybe there's any way to further reinforce it? Question mark. I don't. I don't know if I can do that, but I could definitely That's try it. to give Scorpio the help action so that Luna and, and and Scorpio will be pushing together, and then we'll just be assisting. We'll just we're just assisting. Uh, yeah, is that what you'd like, like to go- do? Yeah, I'll be like, go there, push it that way. The torque is axle-bladed in that <laughs> All right, yep. acute c- circumference. That's what you'll do. And Luna, I'm going to need... Scorpio gets out with you and starts pushing with you. And, Why is the uh, thing smarter than I am? As, as you're pushing together, he just looks at you and he's like, how come we never just go to dinner? I, 
are you really asking me that now? Tell tell you what, if we make it out, I'll make plans for it, all right? Ah, oh, thank goodness, <laughs> a normal reunion for once. <laughs> and, uh... Meanwhile, Nathaniel, and you're like telling him, like, push with the torque and use the back, and he's like, Do you want to get out and push? <laughs> no. <laughs> I say with utmost sincerity. <laughs> no, of course not. All right. Roll your, your <laughs> athletics. All right. Remember, I have advantage, and I will be adding bardic inspiration to this. Very, very nice. 19. Uh, what? The bardic inspiration, uh, I'm adding it anyway. It's um, a six, I believe, at the moment. D6. Yes. I don't know why I always think it's a D4. It is a 1D, it is a 1D6. Uh, okay, that's a awesome. 22. 22, you and uh, Scorpio push in tandem, taking steps in unison as you push the cart back behind the tree and, and the avalanche uh, The avalanche starts. Would we have time to duck into it before the avalanche hits? Absolutely. You Yay. push it down and almost nearly at the last second, you hop in at the avalanche covers the entire area beneath you, Enoch. You see a white sheet just bury all these warg bodies. Oh. And? Oh, that's some nasty business. Those in the cart, your vision goes very, very dark, very that quickly, vision. as you are covered underneath the snow, and oh, you like feel the force of it push against the sides of the cart as it almost pushes it away from the tree. But luckily the tree has buffered the force of the avalanche and you are okay, albeit under several feet of snow. Congratulations, you survived. Uh, I don't know that. I just imagine that in that in sheer like panic, Luna grabbed on to Scorpio. <laughs> Is it over? He would, uh, he would not have noticed until the avalanche had finished, and then he sees you grabbing him, and he just coughs. <clears throat> what? What? Is there a wog in here? I can't see. <laughs> no, he's just being him. Oh, Is I just, there any... Nothing. Uh-huh, yeah, nothing. Is there any way to start digging our way out? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can, uh, yeah. You just slowly start to dig your way up, and, uh, Enoch, you just see that the entire area has been silenced and a, a, a lot of the trees have I been covered to the tip. Oh yeah, shadow death. Worried, worried about everyone. I am getting on top of where I had last seen the cart and I am just using the wing beats for as long as time as I have left with it just to kind of spread away the snow as much as possible. So I imagine it's as powdery as it can be right now. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as those dissipate, I am just going to start with my with the robotic hand, just kind of slawing off as much snow as I can. Just yep. Basically using it as a giant sh as a hand <laughs> shovel as right. just. <laughs> yep. Both of both <laughs> teams digging in uh, the same direction. You uh, the cart team. As you kind of push open the uh, the covering of the roof of the cart, the snow <laughs> kind of piles in on you, kind of waist down, <laughs> waist up, <laughs> and you you dig and dig and dig, and Enoch, you dig and dig and dig, and it kind of starts to crumble in and kind of cover you guys up to the neck, and you see daylight and Enoch digging away at the snow. And he sees you, you all. You guys see. You guys see pure stress and anxiety on this face. I, I just want to say now, I'm trying to get Renee and Nathaniel out first before I climb out. We need to get squishies <laughs> out of here. Yeah, and Scorpio Extending helps you along. Extending a hand to pull everyone out. I, I stare what at this hand time? for quite. A, I stare at this hand for quite a while. Oh, go! Oh, I can't keep holding. <laughs> Renee is going to take the hand first, just to be like. Just one, because listen, we need help, and two, also to show like it's okay. Like I stare at the at the hand for long enough that I begin to sink back into the snow. My face still betrays no emotion as I just start to steadily go down. And then, Nathaniel, and please, that she literally and, will grab him by his shoulders onto, and yank him. And then, and then as soon as you get up, I grab your middle hand. finger for a half a second before going back. Uh, I do not respond, but when Renee comes to get me, I'll grab her hand. <laughs> Renee will just like yank him out. You're such. 
<laughs> You're such a child. <laughs> like, just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give Scorpio a handout. Yep. As he, as he uh, grabs uh, yours and you pull him up, interesting lot you got here. We're, we're an interesting team. <laughs> well then, and he brushes off the snow off of himself. I guess that go my, goes my pay. I, I no. mean, quite frankly, I'm glad we're still alive. I've never seen that many wolves in one spot. I. They were starving. Unless you want to starving. spend a couple hours digging. Mm. Star- starving, you say? Starving, yes. Something clearly is hunting whatever they usually eat out here. I can't imagine it's just wayward travelers. Which means that there's something more out here besides wargs that isn't usually here. He puts a, a hand to his chin for a minute and s- snaps. Have you, have you lot seen uh, some strange folk in, what is it, green robes? Got little green and black robes with the insignia. Green robes with sh- strange mm. symbols on it. Uh, oh yeah, we have. They've been traveling through, ever since they were here. The wargs have gone antsy. Mm. Scorpio, how much have you heard about the spine of death? Yeah, very little. Only heard that there's some kind of rowdy group, probably just some. Teenagers getting upset, wanted to rebel. Uh, n- no, not not at all. They are a terrorist group that's been causing a huge ruckus in Belkinus proper. That's where I got summoned to. Ah. Hmm. You think they had something to do with the wargs and the usual prey? I mean, I know they were up here. They're the one who messed with my father's tomb. Ah. That's true. I, I don't know what they'd be doing up here with... Besides, probably uh, no raising wargs. I don't know. I don't want to find out out here no. either. I don't think it is that. If there were, you would expect there to be wargs out here. The dead kind, of course. The undead kind. Maybe another yeti came through. I don't know. Hmm. I do believe that the spine of death is involved. The timing is too specific for it to be anything else. Hi. But but we should be much more careful. Not just because the necromancers have shown that they're able to hide very easily. But if they've gotten further along than the last group, then they could have undead giant creatures. I agree, which is why we need to keep our eyes open. And as she's saying that, it's going to be her healing word on Nathaniel, because she probably noticed Aww. that he was... He got a cut. He got a creep. Oh, follow. Technically, oh no, I don't have the other thing I wanted to get. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, technically, yeah. it was a bruise, so it was but, all internal scraping. Well, you got knocked down by a wolf. I'm assuming you're hurt <laughs> in some way, shape, or form. You're being very proud right now. Uh, but, so just automatic. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, thank you. Uh, now we got to find the main road. Hi, I know where that is. Yeah. I can that would help a lot. Perhaps Make sure take you along a safer this. one than one infested with wargs. Please. Oh, if you know one. I thought this was the safe one, but apparently not. Uh, and I'm going to pat him on the shoulder and give him my healing hands, because he also got bit. He did get bit. He got bit, so that's three healing. Enoch, how often are you able to fly into the air? He hesitates to answer that usually about once a day right and you've just used it in that case i look up at the sky is there a a chance to or how long have we been walking um it's about mid evening by now i see so we still have some time understood Hmm. how far do you think we are Uh, we should be making it there by nightfall That's fortunate. Good. Good. And uh, the city at least is safe. I hope at least. I've never seen this many wargs, but I feel like I'd hear about more animals storming into Yetzel than normal. Hmm. Of course. The city has at least something to drink. Oh Ah. no, we've got plenty of those. (laughs) Warms the heart. Come. And he starts to lead the way into the mountains. And we're gonna take our little bit of break, but not before Yay! you guys level up to level four. Yeah! Yay! Yay! Sentinel, here I come, bitches! Scorpio leads you guys 
uh, along a very worn down and snow covered road up to Yedso, which is a very not fully developed area. It's a lot of run down stone buildings, a lot of, you know, you don't see a lot of people outside. Uh, a lot of the architecture has been makeshift and mostly just to sustain uh, as best they can. However, in the center of this town, you do see that there is a statue of a man that has been worn and torn down. You can see there are massive chunks missing out of the stone. Uh, and he holds a sword that is very reminiscent of Luna's. And when you guys approach it, Luna, you can feel your sword getting cold on its handle. Which one? Just uh, to... Oh, um, for, for, for the record, Absolution is the fancy sword with the, uh, with the bird skulls on the cross guard, and Retribution's my common sword. He's talking mm -hmm. about Absolution. Absolution, yes. Got it. And you can see that the, the fancy sword is the same one that uh, he holds. And you can see, as you approach, Scorpio uh, just uh, brings you there. I've got a few things to do in town. I'll meet you at the inn. Uh-huh. She's... I'll, I'll see you there. And he just kind of uh, rubs your shoulder a little bit and pats it and leaves you. She's just, uh, she kind of looks at her sword for a minute because of that cold feeling. That's not from the fact it's cold out here. That's like. Hmm. So this is him? Are you able to walk up? Yeah. Vader and Icewind. Hair of Yestel. I'm sorry, can you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. It is a D R. Oh, 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 your your father's name, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, could you say it again? I think it's V A D R I N. Let me check. <laughs> I don't remember how to spell my father's my name. <laughs> let, me let me check. Uh, where is. Oh, God, that's not. I need to check my Google Docs. Spell it that way for now, and I'll type it to you in a minute. <laughs> Yep. Okay. I'll ask you after session. I'm sorry for interrupting. It's All good. totally, totally fine. All good. Uh, as as far as Enoch goes, like he's not even looking at the statue, like kind of averting his gaze from it. Uh, I guess I want to assess the damage, <laughs> at least as much as I can. I know it's getting dark, but I want to start seeing just how bad this thing's been hit. Uh, yeah. You can give me an investigation for that. Okay. Uh, nine. Okay. I'm too. I'm too in shambles right now. <laughs> of course. Uh, looking at around, there are various cracks and um, various cracks, chipped pieces. It is barely recognizable as your father, especially in the facial area. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that you could call him as an echo, you could easily forget how he looks. Um. And um. Is yeah. this where his actual tomb site was? Like where it is not. Was this is just simply the statue. But you do know where the tomb site is. It is in a mm -hmm. graveyard, kind of further north, but not past any uh, horribly, you know, difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. I just don't think it's a good idea to go tra traipsing out that way right now when it's getting dark. So that might be something I do in the morning. Um, does anybody else seem to be around the statue or? I mean, Renee has walked up kind of with you, but like he not necessarily like. Oh, if you walked up beside her, you'd see. Doing anything, yeah. If you walked up beside her, you'd see her face is like steely. Luna's got a normally very relaxed expression, but it's her. It's a really hard look to read, and her hands are clenched, and she has drawn absolution at this point. Uh She's not going to. She, it's more like um. It's less like she's brandishing it, and more like she's like. Just holding it? Yeah, like, this is a something dear to her, so. Mm. Did he give... Why not? Now, I've only heard this story a few times, and I'm sure there's a lot my father left out. But it's why he is revered as a hero here. The story he told me is that he was leading a platoon of men. And they were ambushed. There were... There was so much dead being raised, and 
his men were dropping and then being raised themselves. It was, it wasn't looking good and he was certain he was going to die and then everything went quiet. And all the fighting around him had stopped and the world had turned grey. And there was a woman who approached him and told me he couldn't see her face. She just asked him if he wanted the power to stop this and asked for something in return. He didn't have a lot of time to think. He always seemed like he struggled to recall this. He said the next thing he knew, all of, everything was dead. The undead had been singed, and his men were safe, and the cultists were running, and... He had this. And I am uh, gesturing to absolution. May I? She, she'll let you look at it, but she won't let you touch it. <laughs> like, she, she won't let you hold it. <laughs> it. Like, she gives sort of an understanding nod of just, I, I won't try to, I, I simply want to look. Go ahead. That's fine. She nods. Um, and I'm going to, because of my beautiful uh, spell of the mark, um, detect evil and good on the sword. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Hello. interesting Ooh. choice. I want to see if this is a good sword or a bad. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> hmm. I don't know if that's how that spell works, but I will leave it to go. <laughs> hmm. I, I'm going to see if it works. I'm, I'm curious. Aberration Celestial Elemental Fae Fiend or Undead. Hmm. What an interesting question. You do not. Uh, uh, I didn't read it well enough. Oh, well. Who knows? Maybe there's a soul in the sword. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> At the very least, I think I'm going to know that Luna... Oh, for the love of God, her. don't... <laughs> the pause. The I, pause. I don't know if Detect Evil and Good would detect that. That seems like a stronger divination spell would be That's required. Fair. I'm just looking through the notes just to be sure. I... Mm -hmm. I don't think that it would work... But if you want to be lenient, uh, if this sword's magical properties, assuming it has some, uh, have to do with aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead, then it could ping based off of that. But this is more for detecting like creatures yeah, or something infected. Right. Right. Then, 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 no, well then it so, wouldn't. That's you fair. wouldn't detect anything from that sword. Yeah. That's fair. Just trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no listen, thanks for I the clarification. Wanted, yeah. No problem. I was I hadn't read it read it enough anyway, so that's on me. No, no, no. That's that was a good, that was a good try, though. A for effort. Yeah. But no, you wouldn't detect anything on that That's sword. That's fair. Right. I need to just remember things better, so all good. I have a few no. questions. Uh, yes? Uh, firstly, of course, is that the whole story, as far as you can remember? It's everything he ever told me. It wasn't a story he really liked to tell that often. I can imagine. You said that after the woman appeared, all of the undead dropped, and the cultists ran. Mm hmm And your people were safe. His men were, yes. Right. And the sword was given by this woman, then? I think so. Again, I'm not really clear on that detail. Of course. Um, I how can only imagine. Ago, how long ago? Eighty years ago, when the war was raging. Eighty. The did I get the thing wrong? The war, the necromancy it, war was eighty. You said years 80. Ago, yeah. It was, yeah. Yes. It was, was it eighty? 80? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it was she's... 80. Right. Okay. Trying to do that math in my head. Understood. All good. Understood. Uh, no further questions for now. I write in my book. <laughs> Um, did he give the did he give that soul to you? He left it to me when he passed. He trusted you enough to keep it. It must have been some great power. I've had the sword looked at several times. I've never found anything weird about it. Its properties. I don't so I, I don't know. He always thought it was special and well 
It's my father's sword, so I'm not going to just throw it away. I'm proud to fight with it. I just don't really know what it... I don't really know what its significance was to the story. Besides, he was given a sword and then everything died. I... though... I might be imagining things, but I swear I felt the hilt go colder when I saw what happened here. And like, it's cold out here, sure, but the metal gets cold, but it doesn't get this cold. Strange. Exceedingly so. Is that something that has happened before? No. Never. Turning to Luna, if I may ask a very personal question. When did you come along in all this story? When was I born? Yeah. Well, I'm 33. So, 33 years ago. My birth giver left. And my father raised me. Hmm. I begin writing my note again. <laughs> Where's the local water and hole? I could definitely use a drink. <clears throat> Uh, he, do, I, I'm assuming yeah, yeah, I would know, so I'm just going to point it. Yeah. No, by, by watering hole, do you specifically mean like a well, or do you just mean like a tavern or an inn? Are you looking like for a tavern? A, like a tavern? Like a tavern. Yeah, yeah tavern. you're able to direct him towards a very <laughs> run down. My vernacular. <laughs> very run down place, uh, because, and, and you can see that the sign is just hanging loose and the words have been scuffed where you can't see the name of the tavern anymore. Uh, this is All not, right. you know, you can tell that this town does not see a lot of action. Well, drink's a drink, and he's just almost, like, like skipping towards there, almost. Before going to Jordan, Renee will kind of, like, pat uh, Luna's arm very, like, gently, and just say, um, I... I don't know what kind of power, power may be there, but at the very least, he <coughs> raised a very earnest girl. Her steely like gaze breaks and she smiles. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and she kind of like gets this look in her eye, in her eye, as if some some sort of thing is like debating, and then says to all, all like <laughs> comes to a conclusion in her head and goes. At the, very, at the very least, one that can gain herself a very interesting partner. What kind of partners are you? Uh, because well, it's... We, we're a bit <laughs> she's she's a little bit just like a hmm. <laughs> she kind of like uh, nudges you with her, sh her elbow a bit. You could say we're familiar with each other. The nature of our work keeps us apart pretty often. Which isn't how familiar? <laughs> I think you know. Oh. I don't hide it. He likes to hide it, but I don't. I ask well, another question. Really... Your power, the ability to project to your father's... Is that because you choose to make it his shape? That's how it came out the first time I learned how to do it. <laughs> and could you tell me about the specifics of that? Or, uh, Of course, don't feel as though I... Uh, as though it is necessary to spill your entire life to me. Just... I'm interested. It came out in a fight. A fight I thought I was going to lose. I can only imagine it's just some sort of instinct. I just learned how to use it a bit better, figured out all the tricks. I see. And did you have that sword with you at the time? Yes. You never leave that sword, do you? I don't like to. Right. It's, it's a piece of him that I carry with me. And, well, also it's a damn good blade. Things stay that sharp forever. That makes a lot of sense. Alright. Uh, no further questions. Who drinks then? By all means, I could use something well. And she's uh, just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds lovely, actually. Alright, so you guys are going to follow... I did. <laughs> 
If I got in there earlier, could I start earlier? You can. I was just going to get to you. Yes, you do oh, yeah. go in while they are having this conversation. You can see that there's barely anyone inside. There is a single dragonborn who is cleaning a glass behind the counter. You can see that there seems to be a, an orc that is passed out on one of the at one of the tables. And you can see Scorpio just uh, going through a list of papers, it seems, uh, just sitting at the counter, just writing on some papers. All right. Uh, I take the seat furthest away from him and I beckon to the bartender. The strongest thing you got and make it a double. She looks to you and cocks one eyebrow. Are you sure you want the strongest thing? It's been a long 48 hours. Mm, and I can tell that you're a long way from home. You don't know much about Yedsel, do you? Nope. Well, customer's always right. And she gives you a little cocky smile and heads into the back room. Seeing you sit now very far away mind, from him. Hmm? Go on. Keep in mind, I did say make it a double. Yep. Uh, <laughs> seeing you sit furthest away to the other side... Um, Scorpio speaks up. You know, I didn't think I smelled that bad. Uh, <laughs> you, that's right. The one we just got done helping. He gives you a little two finger salute. Hi, Scorpio. Enoch. You've got small town. You got quite the device there. It's very loud. You think, uh, I could get me one of those? No. Never. <laughs> Even for a little bit of payment? The eye trails onto him and the gear begins to turn. I said no. He holds up both hands, just up. Personal. Got it? And you have a very <clears throat> awkward silence as you wait for the, for the barkeep to come back. Just like <laughs> random sounds. <laughs> Uh, it seems that Scorpio just like tapping his finger every now and then and just. I love yep. Enoch. <laughs> and then the barkeeper comes out with with two mugs of what look like a typical ale and she hands you one but holds the other. You try that one first and then you can see if you're ready for a double. I and she smiles. Out, I pull out two coins for my payment. And I put it on the table and just chug back the first one. <laughs> she she pockets it Long and just goes lady. to the almost routine goes kind of to rummage through underneath the counter. I'm going to need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, no need. I am going to uh, automatically fail. I choose this. Uh, oh, you choose to fail. <laughs> Oh my god, why? Because uh, chaos. What a dangerous choice. Okay. Because chaos. You choose to fail, and you feel your throat burn a hot fire, and you belch as a little bit of smoke comes out, br <sighs> and your entire stomach feels like it's burning, as if it's trying to get out, and you take... Oh, this feels good, though. Feels you good take eight fire damage and you are knocked oh, on God. off of the you are knocked off of the chair onto your ass as you the warmth takes nice. you. It was a nice, tasty drink, but damn, that was strong. Oh, that is better than sex. This, what? <laughs> and she the, the bartender puts another mug on the table, just a, a glass of water with ice. Oh, no need, lady. And some moves the glass. I'll take my double. Hmm. So he's getting plastered. Oh, great. Imagine dying to beer. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're Enoch. You know, I don't want a dead body in my bar, sir. I pat my chest. I'm going to pump all my fucking feelings. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> pump it into me. Eight. So... Virtually nothing happened. Yep. Dear she, God. She she tilts her head. All right. And puts the other mug on the table, oh but doesn't God. let go, but holds out a hand. 
just in case that you're not able to pay afterwards. Give her the other coin that is owed. Now that is that is four gold pieces in total. Yep. All right. She takes it, pockets it into her apron, and she lets go of the mug. Do you All choose right. to fail this one as well? <laughs> no. Okay, you may you may roll a constitution saving throw. You better oh, crit fail this, I swear to God. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. <laughs> 13. The heat rises up through your throat as you chug this thing down, but you're able to keep it down. You're fine, you're warm, it's as if you are back in the grassy plains. I swear to God, if you oh. yacked on this woman's bar... <laughs> And you're able to hold it down, and uh, you can you that can. That one was just as good as sex. You can hear uh, just without looking or skipping a beat while he's riding. You can hear Scorpio snickering a little bit. <laughs> uh, Outlanders. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you say something? Yes, I was saying that uh, everyone's first time is different. Well, that's a mighty good drink, though. It's so it's good. It's the only one, the only thing that's keeping us up here. What are you putting it? The, uh, <laughs> like, the, the dragonborn. You can see as he's, he's now getting like chairs closer. <laughs> the dragonborn just like gets in close and just puts one finger up to her mouth as a shushing motion and heads back to cleaning her glasses. And then the party arrives into the tavern. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> And seeing that Enoch is drunk off his ass. Do I know the bartender? <laughs> you do. Any chance? You do. This is uh, Eris. She... Oh God, Eris, what did you give him? <laughs> he asked for the strongest thing, so I gave him something the... that'll warm his heart. Uh, the best damn drinks I've ever had. Oh, you're going to hate your life in the morning. <laughs> I already hate my life oh, every you're morning. Hate, you're going to hate it even worse. <laughs> and I'm going to go sit with Scorpio. Virtually <laughs> impossible. Mm -hmm. I'll put so, like a gold on the, I'm going to put a gold down on the bar for a normal cup of mead. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not going to be fucking insane. And because of your reputation with this place, I will say that you guys get free lodging as well. Yay! Ooh. Hey, wow. perks! <laughs> I'm still paying for my fucking beer, though. <laughs> Eris serves all of you and uh, just kind of looks to to you, Luna, and and uh, Scorpio. So what brings you up here? Thought you were going to Chester City, and you? You took on another job. I heard about what happened outside. Ah. I got hired on another job, but I needed to see the damage. Right. She wants to see her daddy. <laughs> well, I, I hate to bring more <laughs> bad news, but you might want to check the cemetery just to be sure. Whoever did that, there were folk traveling around the town and causing a ruckus. I don't know for sure if I saw them go over there, but it wouldn't hurt to do so. But after you're all rested up and fed and bellies full, I plan to go out in the morning. If they did that much to the statue, I can't imagine what they did to his actual tomb. Hmm. I... <laughs> I... I need to know just how drunk is Enoch? I'm loving this. How drunk is Enoch? <laughs> uh, yes. He's about... He's, he's past Buzz, but not exactly, like, incompetent. Ah, uh, because so, I wanted to uh, see if I could do that thing, you know, when like you you like kind of barely push a drunk person and they just fall over. <laughs> he won't <I> <laughs> slump over, but he he won't slump over. He'll definitely try and catch his balance. Well, she just kind of try is the key word there. Playfully, mind you, she's not doing this to be malicious. She's just kind of like, oh my god, why did you drink that? You're going mm. and just like well, there's no like, like, like pushes your shoulder. I could have asked. For anything, it could have been whiskey, it could have been a uh, mint julep, but no, I asked for the strongest thing. I got the strongest thing. Yeah, no, no, no. The problem here is that it's going to impair you tomorrow. As a man, oh, he's so, going to be so much fun. Well, well, I, well, I've been pooping out fire. I, 
I don't need to hear that. And that's a medical problem. There's a doctor here, I'm sure. I am a doctor! <laughs> Renee? Yes? Are you able to restore people from ailments, such as poisoning? No. And to be honest, it seems like he's having fun. Oh, I'm, I was I'm... I was not saying to stop him tonight. Let mm. him have his fun. But tomorrow we are going to have to deal with the hangover. Uh, you can see, like, he's see kind of taken do. his his nice hat and he's kind of just scratching it on his scruff on his face because it feels nice. As a hat connoisseur, I am in pain, but my face betrays no emotion. <laughs> <laughs> God. This oh, you're a... so smooth and crinkly. All right. Uh, Ava, why don't we get you up to a room so that you can sleep that off? No, you don't touch me. You don't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I can. I'm a grown ass man. I <laughs> can take like... my own two feet and drag my own beautifully well defined ass. Honestly, let them walk up the stairs. See if he falls bed. over. So, listen, I am. I am totally down to see this performance. Let him go. Please, I want to see him fall on his ass. Fine, fine. But if you break a rib on, if you break a rib on the stairs, you're dealing with that yourself. If I break my own rib, I can heal my own rib. Oh, you know oh you admit it. Right now, ribs. I you admi- want some Hold ribs. Hold on. You would just admit it. You just admitted that you can do that. What? So you can heal people with your hands. I don't get no, why you keep lying. Yeah. I don't yeah. get why you keep lying to yourself about it. I'm not. Uh, I don't like talking about myself. Uh, yeah, no. I'm sure. That much is apparent. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Please go lay down before you throw up on the bar. In the I'm background. I'm not gonna throw up. I I won't throw up. <laughs> she so knows you know, I are you throw up? Are you are you heading to your room then? No, I'm staying down here. I'm gonna party like it's fucking 1857. <laughs> But uh, that's so many years in the future. <laughs> it is. It is the year two sixteen. God. But um, Daddy, were you saying something? Could it be four? Could it be four thirteen instead? No. Sorry. <laughs> Only some people will get that. Uh, oh, anyways, I hate I'm you. I'm just saying it in I the background. Guard. In the background, I am going to be like calmly finding a seat for myself. I will pull out my ledger, open it. I will take a quill. I will start writing down. And every once in a while, I will glance up at Enoch and the loud outburst that he is the outburst that he is saying, such as his healing hands, and I will write into my ledger. <laughs> I need a bard. I need someone to start a tune. Well, un- that's kind of demanding. Unfor- unfortunately, say, our bard is knocked out cold over there, and she gestures over to the orc that says, <laughs> oh, he- "Oh, well, he sucks." I would, I would say that it's very rude. You could at least say please. Renee, please. There you go. That is much better. She like pats him on the head. <laughs> oh, good job, sweet. buddy. Oh, you're nice. You're it's always like this so makes nice. Perfect with you. Why are you always so nice? Oh God, he's one of those kind of drunks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she just looks at him <clears throat> and she's like, "Because they have to be." So, mm. to be perfectly honest, it makes my job easier. Renee, do you want to hmm. play a tune? Yes, I do. You may give me a performance check. Okay. Yeah. Is that Speaking your first performance? We- oh. This is my first performance. <gasps> Speaking of which, Cammy just released oh, a song, I smile. think, yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah, I did. That you can definitely look up. Oh, actually, you know what I can do? I can sing a song that I have a work in progress of right now. That oh, no. I- because I have it written down. It's actually a drinking song. Ooh. Do it! Oh! oh can, do it, can, it. I do it before, do it. can I do it before the performance roll and get advantage? You know what? Actually, just go ahead and, and do your song. Yay! No performance Thank roll you. required. Hey! All right! Hey! what happens when you have a real-life bard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hold on. <laughs> For all of my friends who are woeful and weary From bearing the brunt of a beast of a week I tip my hat to you and give a salute 
So let's all shout, screw it all, and drink with me. If I am truly going to be optimistic, I'm positive, I desperately need a break. So I tap on the table for my bartender's eye. Just one more pint and I'll be on my way. And oh, just stand on the tables and say, raise a glass of your poison and throw all your cares to the wind. Let's see all the troubles that we can get in and oh hey let's all shout screw it all and drink with me hey that was very hey. nice hey. oh i you love that see, amazing see enoch <laughs> throws his hands into the air and in the, just clapping and wooing and being the best cheerleader ever yep <laughs> as you as you sing this uh uh, Eris is like kind of tapping her foot while she's tending to the rest of the tavern and uh, Scorpio has has like dropped his pen and just given you like full undivided attention also just kind of like nodding his head and clapping along as well <laughs> and uh. you know I uh, you guys make this really really hard not to do but you go ahead and get an inspiration as well Yay! Yay! I'd like I have a I'd like to mention. Oh, sorry, you go. Ooh. You go. Uh, I you just noticed that he dropped his pen. I want to see what Scorpio was writing because I'm nosy. <laughs> oh, okay, you can give me a quick investigation check. Nice. Just imagine I'm like he's paying attention to Renee, and I'm just like, okay, what you got there? <laughs> uh, and as he's going, oh, you, you go, you go, you go. Sorry. Yeah, you quickly look over while he's distracted by Renee. You can see that he seems to be writing some kind of notes of uh, resignation of some kind. <gasps> Oh. Um, and give me a stealth. Uh, do you do you try to do this stealthfully? Absolutely not. No? I know Scorpio knows me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as Absolutely you do, and a, as uh, Renee's singing, he he kind of glances at you and does a double take, and he quickly goes to take the paper. Uh, uh, those are uh, extra jobs, extra jobs uh, that I'm taking on the side. Got to turn into Chester City, and uh, yeah, you know, employment, usual things. I. She kind of like she was enjoying Renee's performance, and then like she got serious. What are you resigning from? I'm. Uh, are you okay? I am. I uh, I was part of regular empo employment, and uh, you know they uh they outsource me to do a few jobs every now and then. That's why I had to come back up here as much as I didn't want to, and uh, it's because I've got um future plans. Uh. I've been doing this quite a long time, and uh, I don't know that I could do it much longer. That's fair. Um, I'd like to talk to you about this later, if you don't mind. Aye. Sure thing. Uh, I think I'm going to turn in for the night. Um, I, I'm going to give Scorpio which room I'm in. Uh, a what? which room I'm in, like, tell him, like, which room, like, the one on the left at the top or whatever. Mm. I'm just going to tell him like, I'm staying up there. Um, and uh, I guess Luna's going to bed. <laughs> As you tell him, he just kind of, like, blushes a bit and just kind of averts his gaze. <laughs> at, in my drunken stupor, I'm going straight to, over towards Nathaniel. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> plan. Uh, no. So that plan. plan. You I need something. A couple of things. <laughs> Firstly, when Renee is singing her song, uh, in, in the far back shadows of a corner of a tavern, underneath the wide brimmed yellow hat, Nathaniel stops writing and smiles for a moment before <laughs> continuing his work. Unbeknownst to everyone else. Aww. And as Enoch starts sauntering over towards Nathaniel, his eyes widen <laughs> in fear, and he begins <laughs> scribbling furiously so that he can get these notes finished before closing the book and, like, and standing straight up just as you arrive in front of him. Nathaniel. Um, Nathaniel. Um, Nathaniel. Yes. Yes. I I need something from you, like real quick. 
No. <laughs> you are very interesting, but I need a piece of paper, please. Are you serious? I need a piece of paper, please. <laughs> are you serious? I'm My very eyes. serious. I need a piece of paper, please. <laughs> My demeanor relaxes. I give you my usual eye slant <laughs> and my eyebrows raise. I need a piece of I, paper, please. Before I pull out the ledger, flip to the very back, and I pull out a piece of paper and I hand it over to you. Do you also need something to write with? Uh, absolutely, yes. And take the piece of paper, I slam it onto the table, and in my drunken stupor, I'm just like, I've come up with an amazing invention and it's going to be so cool. And I think I figured it out. I figured it all out. How to do it. The, the machinery and the, and the magic. I, I figured it out. Did and you develop? Takes the pen, dips it in the ink, and like a printer... <laughs> begins scrawling calculations and like geometric straight line designs of using what is uh, small pieces of metal and then figuring out the arcane aspect while drawing like perfect circles and little arcane uh, sigils along it in order to imbue this thing with magic. And he's always had complications with this with his arm, but he figured it out and he pulls up the piece of paper, which is completely illegible to you because <laughs> this is this is out of anybody's wheelhouse. Look what I I did it. <laughs> I did it. Look at me. And what do, you do, what do you do to that paper, Enoch? So first of all, I got to memorize this for the next 24 hours because after all of this is gone, this ain't sticking around. So he folds the piece of paper and he puts it under his armor piece. Now, don't tell anyone. You're, My God. You're, the only, you're the only one that I'm going to tell. And My God. When I, when I show it, it's going to be great. You're not an idiot. You're, <laughs> you're an idiot savant. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just really good when I have a drink in me. <gasps> Your secret um, is safe with me. No one will ever believe me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. it's like, so, like, Enoch, as he goes, like, from side to side, he goes, Cha! and, like, extending out his arms in the back into where he was, no one will ever believe you. <laughs> he walks off. At this time, Renee has finished her song and walks up. Do I need to punch him? What happened? I, I am Nathaniel Gainsby, the witch taker wizard of Belkinus. And for the very first time in my life, I have been faced with a puzzle that cannot be solved. What the fuck did he do to you? <laughs> Why she like looks over at Enoch just like, what the fuck did he do? I would like a drink, please. No, no. Oh my god. <laughs> she, she will get him a drink. Eris, Eris nods and smiles. I know just what the thing. And gives you a very mild uh, watered down rum. I will take this. I will slink back into my chair and without like, I'm sort of just staring at the middle distance at this point because I'm so flabbergasted. That was a beautiful performance, Renee. Well, thank Aww. you. I'm just glad that people got a little bit of fun out of it. I drink this watered down rum and I put the glass down and then I stare into the middle distance until I decide to go to sleep. <laughs> no, no, I'm not sleeping in the chair, but I'm no, 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 okay. in your room. But like, I'm just staying here. This is all I'm doing from now on. <laughs> no writing, no note taking. No. Renee will probably buy him like one more drink. Cause like, usually when he gets like this, she might like wave her hand in front of him a little bit like, 
Ah, uh, yeah, no, to, he's gone. I have to process. <laughs> yeah, she's like, ah, oh, yeah, no, he's gone. Just get one more drink at the stable and just, uh, I'm, I'm going to bed. Just pat, pat. Uh, okay. You make sure not to stay up too late contemplating the existence of whatever the fuck he did. <laughs> All right, and I assume you guys enjoy passively the rest of the night until uh, you head to bed. Yep. And yep. Uh, Luna, after a little while, um, Scorpio enters your room uh, before your before you go to sleep. Of course. Yeah, she's sitting up, mm -hmm. um, probably polishing her sword and yep. just thinking. And he joins you on the bed, and he reaches for your hand. She lets him. And he, he kind of clutches it, kind of like bouncing it a little bit. He's got nerves. You can feel his heartbeat from his hand pulsing very rapidly. So uh, you wanted to know about uh, the resignation. Y yes. Um, well. Is everything okay? Did something happen on your last job? Oh, no, no, not at all. It, it all went fine. And I was thinking that uh, we never have any time for each other. And... <laughs> considering the work that we do and how much we have to travel and be apart. I was resigning because I had future plans. And he looks up to you and his eyes are very watery. And I would like those plans to be with you. She's quiet for a minute. You had me scared that you were going to tell me that you wanted to stop working with me. You know that? Oh. She kind of nudges him a bit. Oh, of course not. You think I could let you have a higher kill count? I mean, I already do. Oh, pfft. I, I want proof. We need smiles. Oh, I can give you proof. Oh, can you? Mm-hmm. I think that's a that's a a fade to black. Yep, it <laughs> is a fade to black as you guys embrace they for the each night and scars. have a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh Baby, yeah. he doesn't know that the Yoda and me <laughs> and uh I think that on that note we can call it a session oh yeah. oh my god oh, that was so good oh that was fun that was really fun yeah <laughs>